Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Now, please excuse the mess here. I was doing something else, but we've briefly hit the pause button on benchmarking to cover a rather interesting news story. Now, I decided to cover this news story sort of last minute rushed it because the comment sections of all my latest benchmark videos have just been getting spammed with links to news stories covering the topic that we're going to discuss in this video. And the users that were posting links were claiming that all the benchmark results are now invalid because Intel CPUs are about to become 30% slower. Now, this news comes after a somewhat difficult, or at least concerning year for Intel, as they went from complete market dominance to, well, a little less dominant. Uh, the tide is starting to turn, let's say. Actually, I might be downplaying AMD's achievements a little bit here in 2017. Ryzen certainly transformed the desktop landscape. Threadripper certainly changed the high-end desktop landscape. And while well, the Epic CPUs, they've been wreaking havoc on the server side. So with all that, the last thing Intel needed was a serious CPU bug to be discovered and addressing it could have a huge impact on performance. Perhaps even worse still, the bug impacts almost every Intel processor manufactured over the past decade. The problem is within the Intel x86-64 hardware and it can't be fixed with a simple microcode update. Rather, in order to fix this major security flaw, a significant operating system redesign is required and that impacts pretty much all operating systems such as Linux, Mac OS and Windows. The exact details of the vulnerability have been placed under embargo, and this is to give Intel time to work on a fix. Now, it's been reported by the register that the flaw could allow normal user programs to see some of the content of protected kernel memory areas. For those of you wondering, a kernel is a program that is at the core of the operating system, and it connects software applications with the hardware components in your computer, such as your CPU, uh, your system memory, your RAM, and basically anything else attached to your PC, your keyboard, mouse, monitor, all that stuff. This means any malicious programs might be able to read information like passwords, login keys, cached files, and well, pretty much anything. This is obviously a serious issue for not just users like you and I, but it seems companies that use virtualized environments are the biggest targets for those looking to exploit the vulnerability. For example, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are all working on fixes to be implemented over the next week. Now, for those of you wondering, no, this does not impact AMD processors. They are completely free of this bug. An AMD software engineer did have something interesting to say about the issue when he speculated that Intel's processors might execute code without performing security checks, and presumably they do this to maximize performance. So while it's speculated that Intel went about this shortcut, let's say, to improve performance, uh, the Band-Aid or patch, well, that's going to come with a massive performance penalty. The solution being a kernel page table isolation or KPTI patch. This separates the kernel's memory from the user processors. Unfortunately though, this solution increases the kernel's overhead, causing the system to slow down anywhere from five to 30%, depending on the task and of course the CPU model. For desktop users though, it's possible the patch won't actually have that much or any impact on everyday usage, and that also includes gaming performance. That said though, we just don't really know yet. We'll have to wait until Microsoft rolls out their fix, and that is expected to happen uh, by the 10th, so next week. Patches for the Linux kernel though, they're already available, and TechSite Pharonix has done some benchmarking, quite a good bit of benchmarking. I'll link that in the video description so you guys can check that out. It looks like though that servers are mostly going to be affected by the patch, and that is affected as in a reduction in performance. Uh, while gaming and video rendering, all that sort of stuff we do on the desktops, that seems to be mostly unaffected. Of course, in typical Harbour Unbox fashion, we do plan to test the impact of this patch for Windows users next week, and we'll report back our findings then. For now though, this looks to be an incredible blow for Intel, and with AMD already breathing down their neck, they really can't afford to give up any performance on the server side. What's your take on all this, and do you believe there will be any major repercussions for Intel? As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop them down below in the comment section. And well, that's going to do it for this one. I'm your host, Steve. I've got to clean up all these graphics cards and continue benchmarking Fortnite. So yeah, I'll see you again soon.